Hi you guys, welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is your Earth Signs Tarot reading for March 2021. So that just means that if your sun, moon, or rising sign is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, then this general tarot reading is for you. And since this is a general tarot reading, just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. Here we go, guys. So we're going to start with the general theme being fertility. Now, this is this card is really stating that this is the time for you to be planting seeds for your future growth. So this is a good time for you to kind of take into consideration what it is that you want to create in the world. What seeds are being planted today? Because whatever it is, whatever thoughts that you are focusing on, that is what you will be creating. Okay? Over here on the left, we have the waiting game. And we have positive movement forward. And then over here, we have spiritual strength along with the memories of love card. All right. Okay, you guys. So... Um, these two cards being together on the left, the waiting game along with positive movement forward is proving that your patience has paid off because now you're starting to see that so much time has passed and gone by, but now it's like you're finally seeing things moving in to the direction that you had intended them to go. And that being, along with the fertility card being the main theme for this reading, you guys, it's just proving that you're ha you're basically having success in your creations. You're seeing how those seeds that you had planted are now beginning to grow. Over here on the right, we have spiritual strength along with the memories of love card. So the spiritual strength is really just all about understanding your power when it comes to spirit. So connecting with that inner, less known part of yourself, um, you know, the spiritual part of yourself to really connect with that. And then the memories of love, That's that card to me is really just saying that the more that you connect spiritually with your inner self or with your highest self, or even just connecting with God in some way, whether it's through prayer, meditation, or both, um, that the memories of love card is really just going to show that you're going to recognize where, even where you didn't know that this energy existed in your life, it actually did. So by memories of love, I just mean um, that constant flow of love throughout our life. So the more that you become connected with spirit, the more that you're going to understand and connect with the energy of the heart chakra and your heart chakra notice here is glowing green in the fertility card. So just continue to try to make that connection with God and your highest self and your spirit and really begin to understand how you can open up your heart chakra Um basically to improve the entire situation. All right. And not only situation, but improve your entire life by opening up your heart chakra and really understanding the flow of love that can come through. All right. So now let's shuffle these down here. We'll get some of the Rider weight cards for clarity. I'm just going to give them a few shuffles. I also want to note that the fertility card obviously could represent as well Someone out there may be expecting, um, maybe there's a pregnancy, maybe someone's going to, maybe someone knows someone who is going to be welcoming a new life. That could be for a smaller group of you guys out there. All right. So now we have these all shuffled up. Let's see what we have for clarity. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. And over here we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, you guys. So this, um, 
the three of pentacles, I am kind of correlating with the fertility card. So, um, whatever ideas and plans that you had that, that you're trying to, you know, nurture and grow, it's, it may be time that you bring in others. So it may be time to find a partner. It might be time to start brainstorming with other people, um, to try to help you get a grasp of what direction you want to go here. Um, as you can see in that card, it's almost like you have the one man standing on the bench, the worker, and it's almost like he's consulting with the other two that have, it looks like they have plans, some kind of blueprint maybe, or something in their hands. Um, so maybe it's time for you to consult others in this situation. Um, if it has to do with, you know, if, if it has to do with being expecting, then maybe you're going to be calling upon doctors to help you out with that or midwife, you know, something along those lines. Now over here, we have these two cards next to each other. We have the nine of wands next to the 10 of cups reversed. So you're actually putting up a wall here. You are basically look at how the man is just, he's all beat up. It's like he had already gone to battle and now he's standing there in front of a wall in a very defensive type posture. It looks like he doesn't really want to fight anymore, but he also wants to defend what he believes is his. So, um, it's this type of defensive, you know, if you're feeling this, then that is what's causing you to maybe have a little rift in your happiness or even in your family's happiness. So it's this uh, wall of defensiveness that's leaving you alone, unhappy, and it's leaving you to where you're feeling um, lack in your manifestation. So my advice then would be to take that and begin to see the truth. Open up the heart chakra, start to connect with spirit and see what your next step could be um, so that you can be happy and to connect with others in a positive way. And now let's get the Rider Waite uh, card out. This is the Oracle card, or I'm sorry, I said Rider Waite. I meant Crystal Angel card. Um, so this is the Oracle card that will give you some advice for the month of March moving forward for all of you earth signs out there. Oh, oh we got one. We have Opal. <laughs> And this card says, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So hopefully that advice will resonate with you guys. And if you like to work with crystals, maybe the opal is speaking to you in the month of March. So you may want to look into what opal also might mean to you. All right, Earth Signs, that was your reading for March 2021, and I hope that you all have a great month. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe right under this video. And once you have subscribed, you can then click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.